How cool is this? We're on a Greek fishing boat. <laughs> With Harris, who owns Levaditus Boatyard yeah. in Sipiada. Actually, I'm learning quite a lot, and I think uh, we might get a useful segment about Greek fishing boats and their fishing methods, which will be helpful to other yachties. Yeah. video will include a more detailed segment on Harris's fishing methods and how they may or may not impact on you as a yachty. We will talk about the other, other fishermen because we are all together Baz and I really enjoyed our trip out with Harris on his fishing boat 
and the following day he showed us the catch that he got and he was really pleased because it was larger than normal. A very good catch. Very good catch, yeah. So these are the uh, langostines that uh, Harris is fishing for when he goes out on his boat and when he, when he brings the catch back he um, splits them off into three different sizes. So this is size A, the bigger ones, size B and then size C, the smaller ones. So there's quite a few kilos there. Other things that were caught include all of these fish. So this is an, a normal catch. Better for, uh, from normal. Oh, okay. So this is better than normal. Very good uh, catch. Very good catch. Yeah. Okay. So where do you sell these? Now, my father will go to Halkida uh -huh. to sell uh, all of this. Okay. A guy is waiting for this. Okay. Yes. Because Harris had had such a good catch, he very kindly gave us some fish that we had for tea, cooked in the oven with lemon, pepper and salt. It was just delicious. Thanks, Harris. We've got a car, haven't we, Baz? We certainly have. After months and months of sitting in the boatyard, we finally got round to hiring a car. We got it for a week and um, one of the first missions that we're on is to go north to uh, a town called Ori. Orea? Orea? Anyway, probably completely buggering up, buggering up the pronunciation. We're going there because there's a guy who custom makes stainless steel exhaust elbows for boats. So we've got the, the one that was repaired in the yard in the car and we're going to take it up to him and get a quote on how much it's going to cost for him to custom make a stainless steel one because the one that we've got here, even though it's been repaired and it's probably really quite well. serviceable yeah. for quite a few years, it's the still um, rusty brown water globules seeping yeah. out from inside the metal, uh, inside the unit. So it's a nagging doubt, and I'd rather just get the stainless steel one put on if the price is right. Yeah. Road closed. Uh, yeah, don't read Greek, but I'm going to say that's uh, a no-go. We were trying to go along the coast road instead of over the mountain pass. But obviously there's been some sort of rock slide and the road mm. is closed to yeah. us. Yeah, so I've seen cars coming through this way, but obviously this side, this side says no you yeah. can't. So it looks like we're taking yeah. the mountain pass. Yeah, mountain pass. Let's hope the snow hasn't come that far down because there is snow on the top of some of these hills still. This is where Stone and Reach have got their boat, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. This is our exhaust elbow. Yes. Um, it had uh, a leak here. Yes, always. The, the boat yard uh, made a new collar. Yes. But inside there's still liquid um, coming this, out. This, 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 this exhaust elbow is in a really bad condition. Mm -hmm. And I mean that if you see around, yeah. there is a lot of Pity. a lot of corrosion. Yeah. That means that it's not worth it. If if I remember, I asked that we might be able to repair this elbow. The cost of this elbow is about 335 euros. Oh, wow, it's not bad at all. Plus plus the shipping Shipping. cost will be 15. 20, something like this. Okay. Okay. And it's bra bra brand new and the original. Original one. from Myanmar. Yes. Uh, and I think that it's not worthy.
to make a custom mm -hmm. one because for sure we will pay about the same price. Okay. You can buy mm -hmm. the original mm -hmm. one. Okay. And be sure that it will fit perfectly. It will fit for sure. It will fit perfectly, and we will use it for many years. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we've got quite a good haul of goodies that we bought now, and we'll show you those when we get back to the apartment in Limney. Um, we've also ordered in some parts which may arrive Saturday or probably Monday more likely but either way um, very helpful yeah. uh, great English yeah. and um, quite willing to assist us and give yeah. us good advice yeah. you know yeah. so that's that's the main thing you know straightforward mm. advice mm -hmm. glad we found the place absolutely yeah. after all that hectic spending of money in the yacht chambers we are having lunch now at the small town seaside town of Oray, I think it is. It's on the north of Delhi. Yeah, um, it's a big fishing port, well it's a decent sized fishing mm. port for the, the area mm. and uh, we just stop by this little place here mm. for a lunch. Yeah, and with brunch, beer of really. course. We have breakfast <laughs> yeah. This is breakfast as well. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> It's nice to get out and about, isn't it? It is. Yeah. It's quite nice. Mm. So with lunch all done and dusted, which was very nice, um, we are now in the town of Istia. Istia. This is a, a fairly big town. In fact, probably one of the biggest in the north of the island. Yeah. And we're hoping to find a hardware store here where we can tick off a few more things on our shopping list. They were lovely in there. Yeah, very nice people. And uh, Helpful. they've just moved to a bigger store because we found the one that's on the main street and it looked very closed and they had a sign on the door that said move to a bigger premises as Ansha figured out. <laughs> so we asked the taxi driver and he said yep yeah, they've moved down there, yeah. turn left. Yeah. So that's today's mission kind of complete. Mm. I think now it's time to go back and we're going to try the coast road because we've been told that regardless of what the sign says about it being closed, it is actually open. Well the good news is the coast road was open and it had been closed due to huge landslides since the recent early January rains. Uh, there were still some huge boulders sitting at the side of the road and uh, quite a few up the cliffs that still looked as though they were ready to drop. So probably they didn't want too much traffic on that road just in case before they'd assess the situation properly. Anyway, onto our haul of goodies. Uh, it's just basically showing you what we've got and why we got them. This is a 10 litre petrol can. And this is just to replace the one that we've got that currently holds our spare fuel for our dinghy because the little plastic cap has completely disintegrated, must have been a cheap one. So that's, that's, that's that. While we're on the subject of fuel, this here is another can of Biocide. This stops the uh, diesel bug. We do still have some remaining, but I thought seeing as we're moving on and we don't know when we can always get it, I just grab one just in case. This here is a diesel fuel additive and this will go and clean the engine and the valves and everything else. So this is uh, something that has been recommended by you, our viewers. <laughs> This can here is a can of uh, grey spray paint, but this is a uh, high heat spray paint and it withstands temperatures up to 700 degrees. So basically that means that when we clean up the engine and little bits of um, paint peel off or scrape off, we can uh, paint, put this spray paint on and that will be good for keeping the engine nice and protected. Now talking about uh, fuel again, this is a primer bulb. Um, nine times out of ten you'll see these in the in your dinghy uh, between the fuel tank and your outboard engine if you have a separate fuel tank and this was bought to go in line of the fuel supply to the main engine because if we ever run out of fuel and we need to top off our tank with the 40 litres of spur diesel that we carry uh, priming the engine after the air has got in there with the little uh, lift, uh, lift lever, lift valve, uh, just takes forever. So pop this in line on the engine, give it a couple of good squeeze, boom, your engine's back running in no time at all. We have a new padlock. This will eventually replace the one that's currently stuck on the outboard engine. We'll, we'll get rid of that one and we'll put this one on and we promise to keep this one maintained so we don't get the other one stuck. Um, this is a dirty great big steel wool or steel wire uh, attachments for a drill bit. I'll be using this 
to take off the areas of anti-fail and a epoxy that are on the hull uh, as we do repair work there. And when I am doing that repair work, I will be wearing this. This is a disposable um, coverall, overall really. Um, so I definitely want one of those for all the dirty jobs. Also did buy two new spark plugs for the outboard engine. I'm pretty sure we've got two on board, but I can't find them. So just to be sure to be sure, I got another two. And this little beauty here, the piece de resistance. That's our brand new exhaust elbow. Uh, Yamaha brand, um, not a bad price, I think it's 340 euros, something like that. And we also got uh, two gaskets for it, so that uh, if I ever have to take this one off and the gaskets failed, I can at least replace the gasket. And in comparison to our old elbow, it's like chalk and cheese. So there is the old elbow side by side with the new one. Dimitri at the boatyard up north reckons we get quite a few good years of use out of this. Uh, but I've kept the old one just in case this one finally blows at some point in the future and we've got soot coming into the engine compartment again. At least I know I can put this one back on temporarily and that'll get us to wherever we want to go to fix the problem or buy another one of these. <laughs> Let's hope it's many, many years from now. I'd just like to take this moment to thank all of our viewers, subscribers and patrons. We've been getting some fantastic tips and helpful hints about our winter maintenance on board ABC. So thank you very much for all of that. While we're on the subject of patrons, we'd like to say hello and thank you to Lindy Bryder. She is our newest patron. Welcome aboard, Lindy. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, and of course, if you're not already a subscriber, click the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any future episodes of Sailing ABC.